Aw, uh, this sucks. What's the matter? I asked Santa for a Leaf Went on Boxing Day, and I didn't get it. Well, what made you think you were gonna get it? You haven't been very good this year. Yeah, well, neither of the Leafs. Boom! You ready? Ding, ding. Big news. What? Oh, seriously? Uh, no pigs yet. What? Uh, what was he doing? Wow. Bring him on. Beautiful. Leafs lose 3-2 to two in overtime ugh, against the Montreal Canadiens. And if you want to talk about throwing away a game early, the Leafs had a Boxing Day sale. A wild Luke Shen stick led to a Montreal power play goal to open the game, followed by a giveaway and poor defensive coverage not even halfway through the first. It's a 2-0 game Montreal. I mean, Gustafson's a good goalie, but he's not a miracle worker. And despite getting down 2-0 early, the Leafs do make a comeback. Ian White makes it 2-1. That's goal number 7 on the year for number 7. How about the offensive season Captain Mustache is having? Shaken Blake ties the game 2-2 with a little help from the Habs. They decided to go Blake bowling and pretty much chuck him into the net. Bah! I scored! And Kessel with a huge scoring opportunity with like seven seconds left, but the Leafs just can't get the lead and it goes to overtime. But the Leafs were crowding the Montreal net heading into overtime. They got all the momentum. This is going to be great. Leaf win right here. Eh. AK-46, Andre Kostitsin puts a quick end to that scoring early in overtime to give the Habs the 3-2 victory. And to say, well, at least the Leafs got a point in this one doesn't really matter because they fall even further behind the Habs. Five points out of the playoffs with a two-game disadvantage now 14th in the East. Habs fans I know a lot of you guys like to watch these videos. Exactly how important has Andre Markov been in the Habs getting into 7th in the East? And how about this? Yaro Halak, first star of the game, no doubt, 47 saves. Do you like having Halak and Price as the tandem, or do you want to trade one of them? And in terms of getting back into the playoff picture, Leafs fans... What do the Leafs do? Better question, what can they do? Trading away more picks wouldn't be smart. Unless there's picks coming the other way, there's no point in taking on more salary. What options does Brian Burke really have other than change of scenery trades? He's basically got to hope for these guys to get better on their own. Uh-oh. One guy who has gotten better on his own made a key defensive play in the third period, and he got bumped up to the first line with Stajan and Kessel, Nikolai Kuhleman. And I said in the Leaf Space Live chat last week, Nikolai Kuhleman, most improved player of the month, by far. Maybe even more than that. That's it. The Leafs lose 3-2 in overtime to the Canadians. Habs fans, please answer my questions. Leafs fans, who has been the best Leaf defenseman this year, and do you like Nikolai Kuhlman on the top line? And other than that, the only question remaining, can the Leafs bounce back against the Stanley Cup champion Pittsburgh Penguins? Knowing the Leafs, as weird as this sounds, they probably will. Peace, guys. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. And one more thing before I go. I saw my younger cousins over the Christmas break, and they showed me this crazy video. Their goalie, in the dying minutes of the game, made an NHL highlight real worthy save. So I'm going to put that video in the description right here. Also in the description, it's a treat guys. If you haven't already checked it out, some of my adventures from when I was in Saskatchewan. I can't wait to go back with the Canadian World Junior Team. Uh, I interview a bunch of guys. Uh, Patrice Cormier puts me in a headlock. There's tons of new pictures. Check it out. I mean, it's not like it hurt or anything. <laughs> oh, come on.